So this is a very important step for this project and I'm super excited and a little bit nervous because the tank is huge! Hi, I'm Scarlett and I'm starting a permaculture project here on the east coast of Mallorca. Follow along as I document the whole process of transforming this derelict piece of land into a food forest. After waiting for over a year, I was finally able to sign the contract and become the proud owner of five acres of wilderness on this beautiful island, Mallorca. In my first months as a landowner, we've cleared 160 meters of driveway to be able to access the property. And we started to cut back the old existing almond and carob trees. We still have a lot to do to bring this piece of land back to life. Don't forget to subscribe to find out what happens next. Good morning! <laughs> Today we have a new attention to the team. Welcoming Elisa! <laughs> Today is a very exciting day because we are expecting our water tank. Let's back up a bit. I've been searching for big water tanks for a while. Then I found this guy on Facebook Marketplace who not only sells these but also has a lovely little farm and animal shelter close by. So we went to visit him and have a look at the tank and the cute donkeys, of course. There are still some high trees and branches that are in the way for um, big deliveries. So we quickly gonna clean up the rest of the path. And also uh, we've been cleaning up the, the last couple of meters to where the water tank will be uh, positioned. I want to say thank you to all the tree sponsors, the San Selva members and everybody who donated to this project because it is actually you that made this delivery of the water tank possible. Thanks to you we're gonna have water for our food forest and all the little tree saplings. So this is a very important step for this project and I'm super excited and a little bit nervous because the tank is huge and yeah, I mean, you've seen our path, we've cleaned everything by hand and I mean, we've been driving up and down the road with our kangoo, but um, it's not very pleasurable and it's definitely not good for the car. So today we're going to try to smooth everything out and, and fix the biggest ditches. Wish us luck! <laughs> What you doing? What for? A smooth and nice ranch. a big hole below this pine tree and the idea is of course to put our new water tank directly below the tree that it's gonna be all nice and fresh during the summer but um, it's a big tree and um, the battery of our electrical chainsaw is already empty again so um, I think we're just gonna clean up and hope that Axel will bring us the tank soon super excited Okay. 
So we did our best to clear the path for big deliveries, but the entrance is super narrow and a bit muddy. The delivery guy struggled to get in and around the curve, so we ended up pushing the tank up the hill. After the first couple of meters it was fine, but it still was a bumpy ride. The tank is positioned at the very top of the property, below the big pine tree. I decided on buying a 20,000 liter tank. This will be a good quantity during summer and gives us a bit more water pressure. The water will be used for the irrigation of our food forest. Since we don't have a well and aren't connected to the grid, this will be our only water source to start with. Once we're able to build a house here, we will also collect rainwater. But until then, we'll have to get the water delivered to the Finca by truck. Which is another reason for the big size, since the transport is more expensive than the water itself. I'm really happy that we have water now and I want to say thank you again to everybody who helped us to finance this little thing behind me to all the tree sponsors and everybody who donated to our project and also to all the San Selva members and of course to my helpers that are enjoying their well-deserved glass of wine Some days later another big delivery arrived. To make sure our tank doesn't get damaged by rocks, we ordered a truckload of sand. But the bigger truck didn't fit through our entrance, so the guys quickly removed one of our trees to get in. We really need to get this road fixed properly as soon as possible. But heavy machinery is expensive and we are running on a very tight budget. So if you want to see more digger action from Ernest and Pedro, go to our website, support us by sponsoring a tree or make a simple donation and they can get started. The sand will be our base, since to build a concrete platform we would need a special permit. So this seems to be the easiest and more sustainable solution. Today we start with the with the 
stone wall. <laughs> Hello again! We're back at the water tank finishing the stone wall that should support the tank and make sure it stands up straight and it keeps the sand all in one place. We really hope that we're gonna finish this soon because as you can see the weather has changed again and rain is supposed to come tomorrow night so uh, today is the day that we have to finish this. Okay, Pascal, so, tell us what are we doing now? So the wall is uh, finished now. Now we um, mix we mix the sand with the concrete to um, stabilize the, the sand behind the wall. Now huh? we start uh, with that. <laughs> okay, so we put a layer of cement uh, in the middle and mix it up with the sand and then covered it all up with the rest of the sand and now we're basically hoping that the rain that is uh, due tomorrow is gonna mix it all up and make it solid enough that in the future this wall will be stabilized to hold up these 20,000 liters of water that are gonna fill up this tank pretty soon. Before we can fill up our tank, we have to fix the connections and the road for the water delivery guy. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see what happens next. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.